Hello everyone! It's been a long time since I've done a video and there are a lot of reasons for that which I'll get into in my update video but this is not the update video. This is the continuation of Verbum Domini by Pope Benedict XVI that we started well over a year ago so there are the first three videos are up and I can link them up in the cards and down below. The first one was the introduction then we did article six and then article seven so we're on article number eight this time so if you're not sure what this is about this is the series where i've been going through um the document written by pope benedict the 16th on the word of the lord and yeah you might want to catch up on those other videos because they give the intro parts to what i'm going to be talking about in this video <laughs> Introducing what's going to be on going on in this in this um, document, part one of um, Verbum Domini is called Verbum Dei. If we remember, it's talking about the beginning of John's prologue. And our main header for this section is the God who speaks. Article number eight has a little subheading: the cosmic dimension of the Word. So we're going to talk about the Word of God some more. So let's get to it. Article eight. When we consider the basic meaning of the word of God as a reference to the eternal word of God made flesh, the one savior and mediator between God and humanity, and we listen to this word, we are led by the biblical revelation to see that it is the foundation of all reality. The prologue of St. John says of the divine logos that all things were made through him and without him, not anything that was made was made. And in the letter to the Colossians, it says that Christ is the firstborn of all creation and all things were created through him and for him. The author to the letter of the Hebrews likewise states, by faith we understand that the world was created by the word of God and that it, so that what is seen was made out of the things which do not appear. So we're talking really about the word of God that created the whole universe without the word, the word of God, the word which would end up becoming incarnate in time, we wouldn't have the world. Like everything was made through the word of God. And that's the same word of God that became incarnate in Jesus Christ. And that's the same word of God that we're still speaking about. It continues. For us, this proclamation is a word of freedom. Scripture tells us that everything that exists does not exist by chance, but is willed by God and a part of his plan at whose center is the invita invitation to partake in Christ in the divine life. Creation didn't just happen out of nothing. Yes, it did happen out of nothing, but it didn't happen like without a reason. There was a reason behind all of creation and that reason is the word of God. Um, and that the whole point for all of creation was to bring us into communion with God. And that's through Jesus Christ, the word of God incarnate. Creation is born of the logos and indelibly bears the mark of the creative reason which orders and directs it. With joy-filled certainty, the Psalms sing, by the word of the Lord, the heavens were made and all their hosts by the breath of his mouth. And again, he spoke and it came into being. He commanded and it stood forth. All reality expresses this mystery. The heavens are telling the glory of God and the firmament proclaims his handiwork. Thus sacred scripture itself invites us to acknowledge the creator by contemplating his creation. So we start to, first interact with God through interacting with creation. God created creation and all of it came to be because he willed it and he spoke it and it came to be. And that's really kind of beautiful when you start really thinking about it. Like everything exists because God willed that there would be snow, that there would be um, whatever's going on outside your window. Like creation exists because of that. We have the mountains, we have the beautiful world of creation created by God. Thus, sacred scripture itself invites us to acknowledge the creator by contemplating his creation. The tradition of Christian thought has developed this key element of the sym symphony of the word, as when, for example, St. Bonaventure, who went in the great tradition of the Greek fathers, sees all the possibilities of creation present in the Logos, states that every creature is a word of God since it proclaims God. So what they're saying here is not that we're all God, <laughs> But we each proclaim God and in proclaiming God, we ourselves become a little W word of God. We are not the word incarnate of God, but we are 
little words of God where we can show God to others and we can see God in the creation. And that's really a beautiful thought and that's really how um, our world works right now. Like we encounter God in creation. The dogmatic constitution, Dei Verbum, synthesized this datum when it set, stated that God who creates and conserves all things by his word provides constant evidence of himself in created realities. So it is through created realities that we come to see who God is. Our first really like perception of God comes in the world around us because God created this world and he willed that this world would be a way through which we can encounter him. So thank you for staying tuned with me. That was article number eight. We're going through this one a little slower than we went through um, Dei Verbum because Verbum Domini is a bigger document and it has a lot more going on in it because it's Pope Benedict the 16th and he is not known to write uh, easy to read documents. <laughs> so we're gonna take our time going through this one article at a time or two depending on if they're shorter. So thank you for staying with me. We'll be doing more of these. I'm hoping to have um, a new one at least once a month. So please stay with me. God bless and please let me know how I can pray for you. <laughs>